Hello and welcome to Sage X3 short video tutorial. In today's session, I'm going to talk about how to generate a demand forecast and then how to um, analyze the results using the enterprise planning workbench and then the um, MRP results. So what I'm going to uh, show you today um, is first create a demand forecast and then create a sales order, a firm sales order, and then run MRP. Once the MRP is complete, <coughs> excuse me, um, view the results using the enterprise planning workbench and MRP results inquiry. So let's go to the system and take a look at it. Okay, so I have created a product for this uh, example and um, it's, I'll show you how I have created it or what information I have on that product. So basically it's a finished good and then I have stock managed and then it's not lot managed on the product side record I have a two weeks of demand horizon here and then uh, suggestion type is manufacturing reordered policy is net requirements yeah so those two things that I want to show you there and then we can go to the uh, the requirements parameter just to quickly show you my setup so it's under setup stock requirements parameters site na023 so i have just uh, have everything um, standard there the production lead time is routing slash product lead times and I have set check the uh, forecast offset checkbox. That is to uh, take into consideration the demand horizon. And then um, for the replanning rules, I have the work order firm, the method is set to simulation, and the back burner lead time 50 days, and the replan quantity is the decrease increase, replan dates early or late. Okay, so that's that, and then let's create a demand forecast. So it's under manufacturing, planning, demand forecast. So the start date of the demand forecast is going to be July 1st, 21st, and the end date is July 19th, 21. Um, so for each week, let's put a quantity of 5,000. And save the breakdown. So it's just four weeks. Okay. And you can see here the demand horizon is two weeks from today's date, June 20th. It's uh, July 4th. And also, I'm going to create a sales order. So the start date of the sales order creation date, uh, let's put uh, July 1st, anyone? And the delivery date, uh, let's put July 14th. Select the product, quantity of 2000, and the price $10. Create the sales order. Okay, so now we have the sales order generated. This 
sales on delivery requirement date is July 14 and we have a demand forecast for four weeks in July mm, next I'm going to run MRP so it's on a manufacturing planning MRP processing the site name is worth 23 and the reference date is today's date click OK So now we have completed the MRP process. Um, finally, let's take a look at the uh, results using the enterprise planning first and then the MRP results. So on the enterprise planning workbench, I selected the all entry transaction and type in the product reference and click search. So what we see here, now the requirement date, you can see there are two sales order suggestions, but there are no work order suggestions for those two lines. That's because we have the two weeks demand for two weeks demand horizon. So within that horizon, MRP does not suggest any work order suggestions, right? Therefore, the first uh, work order suggestion will be on July 12th. So for July 12th, the sales order, sales order suggestion amount or the quantity is 5,000, but we see only 3,000 because we have a sales order firm on, of 2,000 uh, on July 14th, and we also have a work or a suggestion of 3000 for the sales order firm on July 14th. Therefore, for July 12th, instead of having 5000 as the work or a suggestion, we wanted to have only 3000 right? Because we don't want to over-produce. If we already have a sales order firm of 2000 and the, the related work or a suggestion for that sales order firm of 2000 Okay, so, and finally you can see for July 19th, we have a sales order suggestion of 5,000 and a work order suggestion of 5,000. So if you take the, um, the total work order suggestions that we have here, it totals up to 10,000, right? 3,000, 2,000, and 5,000. And if you take the total of the sales order suggestions, that also totals up to 10,000. So we have 5,000 on the 19th, and then we have 5,000 on the 12th, so 10,000. Okay, so we don't take into consideration the first two lines because they are not considered. So that's um, the enterprise planning workbench. So you can see um, on the enterprise planning, we have the the order, um, uh, what type of orders they are, like sales order suggestions, work order suggestions, sales order firm, and then we have the remaining quantity and the start date, end date, the requirement dates. Okay, and you can see other information here as well. All right, so next, let's let's go to the MRP results. So it's under manufacturing, inquiries, reorder results, MRP results. So yeah, I'm going to type in my product. And then hit search. So what we see here is that we see, let me sort by the requirement date. Um, so first we have a sales order suggestion of 3,000 and a work order suggestion of 3,000 and we have a sales order of 2,000, work order suggestion of 2,000 
and if this was a you know five thousand and the work cost is you know five thousand. So that is the demand or the supply. Um, you can see the quantity here, and then the projected stock. So the demand here is three thousand, but the remaining quantity is five thousand. And um, the work order suggestion is for the three thousand, and then you also have a work order suggestion of two thousand. So three thousand plus. 2,000, 5,000, and then here 5,000, 10,000. So that matches with what we saw on the other side on the enterprise planning workbench. And similarly, it matches with the sales order suggestions as well. So here 3,000 plus 2,000, 5,000 plus 5,000, 10,000. Right? Um, so that's what I just wanted to show you today. Um, basically, um, when you are trying to do the same thing, make sure that the, the sales order dates falls within the 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 demand horizon um, after the demand horizon, right? If you do it before the demand horizon or within the demand horizon, then the results looks different. So if you want the MRP to leave the uh, quantity uh, of the sales order firm and suggest the work order suggestions based off of that, then I would recommend to check your sales order requirement date. Alright, so that's all I have for today and um, thank you. Um, one second. So thank you for your time and thank you for listening to this uh, video and um, um, so have a good day.